Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher Edwin. How are you? I'm doing great. I hope you guys good had evening, a good day. Yes, a little bit tired, but it's okay. Okay. And why why a little bit tired? Because this day is a little it was for me very difficult. It's very hard in my in my work. Okay. Um only this day or normally your job is very hard, David? Uh, no, only this day. Okay. That's well good. some days, not all the time, but only some days. Okay. All right. And Ivan, how about you? How was your day today, Ivan? Oh, sorry. Good evening, I teacher. Daniel had a question. Here I am. Mm -hmm. I've been happy because uh, you know, my day was very busy with my child, uh, teaching computer and sport too. But here I am waiting for you for the okay. class. <laughs> Nice to see you again, teacher. Nice to see you too. All right. Daniel, I see you have a question or a comment. Yeah, teacher. Good evening. And good evening to all in this class. Um, I have a co little complication because I write, I driving, and I just go to my house, but only I can hear. Okay, no problem. Thank you very much for letting me know. And I will change your name to Oyente. That way we don't cause an accident. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about our day. So similar to David and Ivan, we want to catch up and talk. Why? Because today's topic is specifically this. Um, David, um, can you please read what we're going to learn today? What is today's objective? Okay, by the end of this class, you will be able to use past continuous and simple past to express an action which was in progress, the past and got interrupted by another complete action. Great. Now, before we make our groups and practice what we did today and yesterday, we're going to see how we use it. What is the function and how to make it? Here is a small video to help us with the past and past continuous. Hi everyone, are you ready? Let's go on now talking about past continuous versus simple past. I want you to listen and take a look at this. This is a timeline. Notice both actions happened at the same time but one action began earlier and was in progress when the other action happened. So we may say, I was reading a book when you came. What you just listened to and saw was the intro to this new topic. Now we'll play the audio program so you can follow and understand it better. Remember to stay there in the explanation and take notes. Past Continuous versus Simple Past Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. Use the simple past for a completed action. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. I will begin talking about simple past because we have studied this before. So let's review. Simple past. When do we use it? We use simple past to express that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. Read the following examples. They went to the movies. He came home. She drove my car. I will leave you with the structure of affirmative, negative and questions just for you to have it in mind and practice it. Okay, before we go to that, let's take a look. We wanna make sure that we have the correct grammar structure. I will leave you with the structure of affirmative. Okay, there we go. Here's the simple past. Now, very basic, but we want to make sure that we understand it. 
always in the simple past, we use there are two forms of verbs, regular and irregular. The regular only put ed, irregular we change. We only use the past tense in positive sentences, only in positive sentences, like in the first one, okay? As an example, I went to Multiplaza yesterday, only in positive. If you're going to make negative or questions, you use the verb in the present. Why? Because we use the auxiliary didn't or the auxiliary did. As an example, I didn't go to Multiplaza yesterday. Okay, I didn't, I did not use went, I use go. Did you go to Multiplaza yesterday? Okay, it's okay the difference? Anybody, any questions for the past positive, negative, or questions? No, teacher. Okay. Great. Negative on questions, just for you to have it in mind and practice it. Now let's talk about past continuous. This tense has more than one use, but this time we will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. Take a look at the following examples. I was sleeping when the dog barked. She was working when he had an accident. You were painting the house when you ran out of paint. Take note on the following. We have these two words, while and when. Okay, now let me explain the idea of while and when. While is at the same time. Two activities in the same moment, okay? When is one activity and after the next activity. Let's look at the examples we have here. While I was having lunch, the alarm went off. This means two things, okay? I eating lunch and the alarm beep, 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 beep. This is went off, okay? Number two, when he was watching TV when somebody knocked on the door. I didn't finish watching the series. I, in the middle of the series, and then in that moment, somebody knocked, interrupted my action, okay? This is the idea. While is not completed, this is at the long action, the two activities, and when interrupt. It's okay, or do you have any questions? Uh, teacher, while is in Spanish is mientras tanto. Yes, yes, like uh, or mientras. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, let's watch the rest of the video. While it is usually used with past continuous and when? It is usually used with simple past. In other words, we use while plus long actions, past continuous, and when plus short actions, simple past. Finally, before we go on using both tenses in one sentence, I will show you the structure for past continuous. Listen and follow it. For affirmative, subject, plus was, were, plus verb, ing. Negative, subject, plus was, were, plus not, plus verb, and ing. Questions, was, were, plus subject, plus verb, ing. Okay, now what is this? If you remember the simple past, had the contract, the structure, right? Here in the past continuous, we use the auxiliary was or were plus ing. In the simple past, 
only the verb in past. For example, I went to multiplaza. But here, past continuous, we are always going to use was or were. In this case, she was cooking all morning. That means in the morning, she didn't finish. She cooked and cooked and cooked and cooked. This is the idea. Is different than I say she cooked in the morning. This means that she finished at this time. She was cooking is she did not finish during the time that I am speaking. It's okay, the difference? Xiomara, are you okay? You look like you have a question. I don't have. No questions, Yamara? It's okay? Yes, David. it's okay. Okay, David, yes, I have a question. Yes. Ah, okay, David? When I, when I use was or where, I think was is in uh, singular and where is plural or not. That is the idea, correct. So you're going okay. to use with he, she, it, was. But you're going to use with you, we, they, and I were. So it's not only singular and plural. It's more third person. Third person, he, she, it, was. Okay? And then the others are going to use were. Sorry. He, she, it, uh, I was. Yes. And then you, we, they, were. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Plus question mark. Past continuous versus simple past. We often use the past continuous and the past simple tense together. The past continuous is often used with the simple past to show that one action was in progress when the other action occurred. I want you to take a look at this diagram and try to make sense of it. Now work on the following statements. You may do it with your own information. For example, you may say, Last week, I was driving when I got a flat tire. Remember to use both tenses just like I did. Okay. So let's get an idea of how to use it for ourselves in our day. Okay. Let's see. Gisela, what did you do today? Okay, Gisela, what did you do today? I think maybe Gisela is having some problems with the audio. Try to fix it, Gisela, and we'll try another. David, what did you do today? Well, I went to visit my uh customers okay how did you visit your customers david in car by in bus, car, by by car by car and what do you do when you are driving do you listen to music read books uh what do you do well um generally i you i listen music okay now this is the idea for the two grammars that we are talking about today one he visited customers. Finish. Before he visited customers, he's driving the car. In the time that he's driving, he is listening to music in that time. So an answer for David, a complete structure would be, I was listening to music while I was driving my car. I visited customers in Sonsanate because they bought a product, okay? I was explaining to my customers and showing them how to use the product. I don't know if it's true, but I invent for David. This is the idea that we want to do. We want to use both was and the past tense. Remember, was is activity not completed or two activities in the same time. It's two functions. 
was activity not completed or two activities in the same time. Example, Carla, did you take a shower today? No, quedaste apestos. Okay, okay, Carla, no problem. No, ah, yes, what happened, Carla? Yes, no? Yes, I Yes, okay. I took a shower. You took a shower today. Ah, why Carla says I took a shower? Because Carla completed the shower. But sometimes in El Salvador, you are taking the shower and then the water stop, right? This is, I was taking a shower. This is the idea, not finished. I was taking a shower when the water stopped. This is the difference between past continuous and simple past. It's okay, or more examples. Nelly, it's okay, or more examples? It's okay. Okay, all right. So in this moment, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to talk about our day and we're going to focus on using it correctly, okay? Use both tenses correctly. Past continuous and simple past. If you have any questions, I will try to help you, okay? All right, let's try with our partners. We're going to have a few minutes. Describe your day, ask questions, what happened, like me and David. Oh, before you visit the customer, what happened? While you were driving the car, what happened? The idea is to practice using both grammar structures. Any questions, any words that you want to know? Uh, como te dice before we begin? Okay, let's do it then. Gabriel, are you okay? Do you have problems connecting? Okay.
Gabriel, are you okay? Eh, sí, me sacó del, del grupo, teacher. Ok, te voy a tratar de meter de nuevo. No pasa nada. Ok. Vamos a ver si te puedo ingresar nuevamente. To, to uh, connect with you for a class for my child. Where do you yeah. want? Where do you want? I here yeah. to help you to help your son. Okay, okay. I I really interested in this class because it was very hard in the United States, but for, for that reason. I try to study English again. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the point. <laughs> and you? I beginning to study English in um, 2006, but uh, I practiced. I, I practice more for writing and reading. Mm -hmm. uh, for for speaking, I don't practice it. Yes. The game. Yeah. From, to El Salvador and Venezuela. Oh. And sadly, we lose. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, we lost. Very strange. Uh, Very I strange. <laughs> Yes, but and then I returned to my house and took the dinner, and that's it. Nelly, uh, how old are yeah. your kids? Excuse me. How old are your kids? Ah, uh, they are twelve and eight, and the last one it's almost four. Okay. The same. Our children are the same age. Up. I don't know. The other example. Um, I I bought a milk in the supermarket when I lost my wallet.
while while my while I was cooking, my dog threw away the food. Another example it can be when I was taking a shower. Mm. No, I'm sorry. Let me think. Okay. Try not to give examples. Only explain about your day. What did you do yesterday? What did you do this morning? This is easier than trying to give examples. Ah, okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Uh, while I cooking, when I when I was cooking lunch, my mom called to me. Okay, good. I see that some groups is very easy. Other groups is a little bit more difficult. It's normal. Sometimes it's easier. Sometimes it's more difficult. The most important is try to speak with your life. Do not try to give examples. When you talk about your life, it's easy to remember and it's easier to speak. If you try to give examples, it's harder because you have to create, imagine, think about. So it's only remember is easier, okay? In this moment, I'm going to give you two links. We're going to have two links. The first link is multiple choice. We're going to practice to check the past continuous and simple past. And the second link is writing. So we can make sure that you understand. So the first link is multiple choice. The second link is writing. You're going to practice the difference between past continuous and simple past to try to help you understand a little bit better. Please open the links because when you make the groups, then you don't have the links. Is part of the Zoom. When you have the links, they close when we open the other groups. So open the two links. Okay. Okay. And did everybody open the two links? Yes. David, did you open the link? Yes, teacher. Carla, yes. Okay. Okay, perfect. So now with our groups, you can share. Now you can share the screen and we can practice. Yes, Ivan, you had a question? Eh, no me abre el, el link en, en, en una tablet estoy, no me lo abre. Mm. Ahí sí tengo ese problema. Okay. Eh, Have trouble. No problem, no problem. Hay una solución bien fácil, Ivan. Y eso es que cuando estés en el grupo, Una persona del grupo comparte la pantalla y así puedes ver y practicar siempre con los demás compañeros. Ok, ok. Ok, okay perfecto. Siempre podemos encontrar solución. Mm -hmm. All right. So, let's practice with our partner, the three. Ok. Solo acuérdense que todavía Daniel está conduciendo, así que no cuenten de que él va a poder participar mucho. Más que todo va a estar escuchando. Ok.
Okay, let's check. Okay. It says choose the correct verb from you simple past or the past progressive. Okay. Mm -hmm. We were sat at the breakfast table mm -hmm. when the doorbell. We were sitting, right? Because it's plural. Mm -hmm. We were sitting at the breakfast table when the doorbell. We was. We was. We were. We were. We were. We were. I think it's we were sitting at the breakfast table when the doorbell um, rang. Rang. The second example is he. He was. He was working in California. He was working a lot of friendly. People when he he was meeting he was meeting a lot of friendly people while he worked worked in California, right? Yes, it's okay. When they mm, let me see. When they left the museum, the sun was shining. Or not. Hello. Okay. Iván, Flor, Gisela, ¿nadie puede compartir el link o no lo pueden abrir? Yo no los puedo abrir, teacher, y ya me desaparecieron de, de, del chat. Uh -huh. Es lo que les mencioné. Eh, cuando se hace en el grupo, no están en el chat. Lo tenés que abrir o copiar y pegar antes de unirte al grupo. Si no, desaparecen a la hora de estar aquí. Pero, Flor, Gisela. Teacher, yo como estoy en el teléfono, no, no puedo. No hay problema. Gisela, ¿tampoco puedes compartir la pantalla? No, no puedo. Yo también estoy desde el celular y abrí uno, pero cuando me pasó a la sala, se me cerró. No hay ningún problema. Tengo una Dice si lo, no. si lo manda al, al WhatsApp, teacher. No hay problema. En este momento los voy a poner en otro grupo donde ya están compartiendo para que no les cueste a oh, ustedes. Right. Right, okay. right. All right. Perfect. Bueno, gracias. De nada. Thank you. You're welcome. They parents. They're they. Their parents watched TV. No. When they slept, their parents was watched. Xiomara, Where? Jessica, or Gabriel, <laughs> can you share the screen with the other partners to work together or no? What? Uh, I repeat, please. Yes. And oh. can, can you share the screen so that? No. 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 Okay, so Mara, you're on the cell phone. I understand. I understand some, but like what we were completing one. Yes, Rebecca. Sentence. Okay, okay. You. Sorry. okay, okay. There you go. Excellent. That way everyone can see. Perfect. Teacher. Yes, Rebecca. 
I have, well, we have a job in four. Number four, okay. The students were playing cards when the teacher came in. Correct, Rebecca. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. go ahead, continue, great job. Six, eight, nine, nine. Okay. Okay. It's cinco si sería where watching. Porque es while están las dos acciones al mismo tiempo. We're watching. Mm -hmm. The children. Okay. Vamos a ver. It's it started to rain. It started to rain while she when she was waiting the flower, right? Yes. Is she it? Is she it? It was, it was starting. Start. It was starting to rain. See, while she, when she was waiting. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Okay. Well, right. Mm -hmm. Entonces, yeah. si estamos con, si estamos con, con esa misma metodología, eh, la uno estaría. ¿Cómo está la uno en la segunda? Sí, Porque ahí ran, ran y pues sería where. Ahí, 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 David. No, porque es Where ring it. Start was starting. No, porque dice, ok, dice, we were sitting, nosotros estamos sentados. Sentados. En la mesa. Desayunando en la mesa. Desayunando. Cuando ah, la puerta sonó. Cuando el timbre sonó. Ok, ahí está bien. Yes. Sí, está bien ahí. Solo. Go ahead. Why they be okay when I when I open the door mm -hmm. when I opened the door it was raining. Mm -hmm. Okay. Henry okay. why Henry had a drink or was having was having a drink at the bar, his wife was swimming. <laughs> okay. His wife was swimming in the Okay. But, but I can't uh, participate because I can't see the, the all the options. Just uh -huh. I see the, the, the page only that. Okay, so I will read the sentence number seven. When I opened, was opening or were opening? The door, we're talking about the door. When I was, was opening, was opening, was opening, when I was opening the door, it, Rain, it was raining, or it were raining. Okay. It's okay. It's better to understand past and past continuous. <coughs> Any questions? No. So it's clear, yes? Peter, I have a comment. Okay. I think 
when uh, this kind of sentence, only we, we could to classify where is the person in, uh, when I classify, when I classify um, only just to select with um, preposition, I don't know how, how to say, where or was. Score with that. Um, I don't understand your, your question, Daniel, or your comment. Can you try again one more time? Yeah. This in this kind of sentence, only we need to classify when is the he, she, or it to use was, and the other person on plural, we uh, we need to use were. Is correct. Uh, is correct in some of the examples, but not always. For example, um, you can say uh, we we were studying English when they the same when they were or while they were listening to videos so depend the context sometimes is was and the other were but not always okay depend the context context depend the context yes okay, okay thank you teacher yes so here let me send you the uh hey, excelente hey, teacher okay. Yes. Uh, could you send the links in the WhatsApp for practicing after classes? Uh, and that's what I'm going to do in this moment. I'm going to send here. That way, here, right here. Okay. Hang on. And one more time, I send. There you go. Okay. okay. Let me explain. That way, it's clear. Okay. Perfect. The links are there. And you can practice after class and have more opportunity. I I am on the computer in knowing what's up. That's why I don't send to what's up. But if someone in the group is in the cell phone, please copy and paste to what's up. That way is for the other members. Okay. So if you are in the cell phone, only copy and paste from the chat and put in what's up. But if not, you can copy from here from the chat and open. Now we're going to go ahead and continue and we're going to try to answer the questions together. Okay, so number one from the knowledge check 2.2. Number one is going to be Carla. Number two is going to be Rebecca. Number three is going to be, sorry, number one, Carla Elena. Number two, Rebecca, para no confundirnos. Number three, Carla Alicia. Okay. <laughs> Number four, Ivan. Number five, Nelly. Number six, David. Number seven, Xiomara. And Ada, si no está de acuerdo o si ves una respuesta mal, tenés que decirlo. Ada Adgar. Okay. Okay. okay teacher. I'm ready. All right. Okay, teacher. Carla Elena, number one. My brother was snowboarding when he broke his leg in several. Okay. Thank you. Number two. Several years, several years ago, I I was having problem with math, so I phoned a tutor to help me. Okay. Good. Number three. The couple were leaving their first child when they leave when they leave the the last. In, in a tiny apartment. 
Okay. Number four. Aquí voy. Mm -hmm. When I was driving in Ireland a few years ago, I realized I was on the wrong side of the road. Okay, thank you. Number five. Ulrey was reading a good book, but someone told her the ending. Mm -hmm. Number six. Why my mother was cooking dinner last night, the phone rang three times. Okay, good. And the last one? Uh, and Eric met and they were working in a restaurant in Vancouver. Okay. Ada, are there any mistakes? Do we need to change any questions, Ada? No, it's okay. Okay. Well, pretty good. Most of them we can see they are correct. We do have one mistake, but very nice. Number one is correct, was snowboarding and broke. Number two is correct, was having and found. Number three is not correct. Number three, the couple, okay, here we are going to have, we didn't choose had, the correct is had, the couple had their first child when they were living in, in a tiny apartment because in the moment they are living, then have the baby, not continue to have babies had the baby one time okay number four was correct was driving and realized number five was correct and of course number six and seven also are correct any questions okay great let's go to our next topic and the next topic, uh, Flor, can you please read the objective? In this class, you will learn some useful adverbs for telling stories. Great. So we're going to learn about storytelling. Okay. Let's learn some adverbs. These are the words that finish with L-Y. Okay. L-Y. Hi, this time we'll talk about some adverbs which are often used in storytelling to emphasize that something interesting is about to happen. Which of these adverbs are positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral? Coincidentally, fortunately. Okay, let me read them and then you tell me if you know or you don't know them. Coincidentally, fortunately, luckily, miraculously, sadly. Strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately. Are there any words you don't know? The first one, teacher. Coincident. Coinc yes. This means like by accident. It's like the two. Oh, I went to Multiplaza and coincidentally I saw you is by accident. Okay. The other words are okay? Miracle, miraculously. Miraculously. Repeat, miraculously. Miraculously. Great. Miraculously means by, wow, is is like a, a miracle. is something that you didn't expect. 
for example, you're going to have a baby. Wow, it's twins. Miraculously. Strongly, it, teacher. Hmm? Strongly. Good. Pronunciation, strangely. Strangely. Stra strangely. Yes. Strangely. Okay. This means is not normal. Is something different. Strangely is like in the stories for the ghost or the phantom. Okay. Strangely. You... And the, the unexpectedly. Unex how it's pronounced. It's correct. Which... Unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. Unexpectedly is something that you didn't plan. It didn't happen. This is unexpectedly. It's not something that you had, mm -hmm, that you planned to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, gracias. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other words? No. Okay. Let's listen to the rest. Luckily. Luckily. One more time. Fortunately. Luckily. Miraculously. Sadly. Strangely. Suddenly. Surprisingly. Unexpectedly. Unfortunately. Now that you have listened and decided which ones were positive, negative, and neutral, we want you to complete the following statements with those adverbs so you can come up with creative sentences. Okay. So we're going to look at here. For Tell example, Sir, that picture. In the picture, what happens? Tell me. Look at that, look at that image. What is happening in the picture? Situation I'm sorry. dangerous. I'm sorry. Yes, yes, go ahead. Me or Ivan or Ivan? Ivan first and then you. Go ahead, Ivan. Dangerous situation I can see in this picture. Why? Why is a dangerous situation? Because uh, I I can I can see the lightning. And a child with a bike, ride bike, very dangerous. Follow a a woman. Mm -hmm. he's, he's following a woman. He lightning falling, falling. Uh, he's falling. Okay. The red. Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry. We're going to help you. We're going to help you to organize and to be more fluent. The other partner? I can see a, a man running because a big store is behind of him. And also the boy is follow the woman. Maybe he wants to is steal her steal i don't know how do you say robar teacher steal steal her hair handbag okay only okay. that good that's very nice okay that is the idea of storytelling when you use adverbs in storytelling is necessary to describe an activity it is not correct only to say uh the words you need to create the sentence with the person, the activity, and give descriptions. For this, we're going to practice for tomorrow. How are we going to practice for tomorrow? It's easy. Tomorrow, we're going to prepare a small story to share with our partners. As an example, you can take about any story, any story that you want. La Ciguanaba, El Cipitio, eh, Cinderella, Snow White, uh, Goldilocks, the three little pigs, whatever. 
but it's your responsibility to explain the story in English. Ah, no, tomorrow, no. ¿Cómo se dice? No, it's your homework. Investigate today. Look for it. Check the vocabulary. Prepare for tomorrow. It's okay? It's okay, teacher. And we have to okay, use the, the grammar that we saw today. The important is that you are not necessarily the grammar, but the important is descriptions. Okay. Okay. So as a as an example, eh, recitos de oro, Goldilocks. Okay. Goldilocks was walking quickly in the woods because she was trying to escape from as an example, not necessary. You have to use those words. You can use others, but you are going to tell the story for tomorrow. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay? Yes. It's okay. okay. Carla, Alicia, do you have a question or a comment? Yes, yes. How many times uh, should be the story? The story should be 45 seconds to one minute. 45 seconds minimum to one minute. Why one minute? Because if not, some people begin speaking and speaking and speaking and speaking and then never finish. And then we don't finish the class. <laughs> so 45 seconds to one minute maximum. Thank you. Is excellent question, Carla Alicia. Any other questions or comments? Okay. No, no questions. Perfect. Y para que no seamos tramposo, hoy me van a decir qué cuento van a decir para que nadie se repita. Teacher, I'm okay. going to say the little ray, no, the little red riding hood. Thank you very much. No more yeah. red riding hood. <laughs> yes. In my case, Pinocho. Okay, Daniel Pinocho. Carla Alicia. <laughs> Risita de oro. Risita de oro. Goldilocks. Goldilocks. In my, teacher. Mm -hmm. In my case, la ciguanaba. La ciguanaba. In That's English. Right. Wow. <laughs> yeah. wow. Okay. Oh, wow. I like it. I, me gusta. I will try. I will try. <laughs> Exacto. Eso retate. De excellent. Uh -huh. Nelly. The, the three little pigs. Great, three little pigs. And David? The ugly duck. The ugly duck. Good. Carla Elena? Uh, red reading. Uh, no sé, caporecita roja, no sé cómo se dice. Ya te la, ya te la ganaron. Ah, de verdad. No ¿Sí? escuché. Um, <laughs> Maybe Cipitillo. Cipitillo, ok. Ya tenemos igual nada de Cipitillo. All right. Xiomara. Ada. Ah, Xiomara. I don't know yet. I don't know. Ok, Xiomara, pero no puede repetir ningún cuento. Ok. Ok, Ada. No, I don't know if all after class everyone send what's in, in the WhatsApp. What... In the WhatsApp. Ah, Xiomara. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Only listen <laughs> to the repetir. partners and then don't do that. Uh -huh. uh. Mm -hmm. Ada. Mm, aún no sé cuál. Mm, estás igual que Xiomara. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, question. Can we write the, the story in the notebook or just in the mind? You can write the story in the notebook, but you cannot read. No ah, okay. reading. You can write to help just you look for vocabulary, to get, to get the idea. But you are going to speak. You are going to... Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Gisela? The white cadejo and black cadejo. Wow. Okay. Good. Now we have cadejos. Great. Disculpe yes. de memoria. 
Yes, you are going to. No te lo tenés que memorizar. No se trata de memorizar. Se trata de hablar naturalmente. Pero puedes buscar vocabulario que no sabes hoy o mañana para ayudarte. Pero no lo memorices. Contalo. Okay. Okay. Thank All right. You. You're welcome. And Gabriel, el último. Teacher. Xiomara. I will, I will tell about Rapunzel. Rapun hey, nice. <laughs> Rapunzel. Great. Okay. So tomorrow, prepare. Tomorrow you have a presentation. Speaking. Tell the stories. Okay? Okay. okay. All Excellent. right. Excellent, guys. Have a great night. I see you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye, Good teacher. Bye, everyone. Bye, teacher. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.